and welcome to another Gear Motor Tips video from Bodine Electric Company. Today we are going to show how easy it is to connect one of our three wire reversible permanent split capacitor AC gear motors. Bodine currently offers the type WX and FX gear motors with three wire reversible AC single phase windings. Permanent split capacitor gear motors require a run capacitor to be connected to the winding at all times. To enclose a capacitor or to make the AC power connections, an optional terminal box kit can be attached to the gear motor or motor. First, identify the wire colors and confirm that the gear motor or motor is a three-wire reversible PSC model. Bodine stock motors have red, black, and blue motor leads and a green-yellow ground lead. Next, identify the capacitor value to be used with the motor. The capacitor specifications are shown on the gear motor or motor nameplate. The capacitor is not labeled with polarities, so the connections can be made to either wire. To connect the motor for clockwise rotation, see connection diagram 0741072. Connect a black wire from the motor and the hot lead, marked line, or L, from the AC line cord to one of the two capacitor leads. Please note, the AC line lead polarities do not matter in this basic setup. The connection can be made to either side of the AC line, to hot or neutral. However, when a switch is used, it should be wired to interrupt the hot L line connection. Next, connect the red wire from the motor to the other lead of the capacitor. The capacitor must be permanently wired to the motor leads. Permanent split capacitor gear motors and motors require a capacitor during start and while running. Now connect the blue motor lead to the other lead of the AC line cord. Again, the connection may be made to either side, hot or neutral. To complete the wiring, connect the green-yellow ground lead to the ground wire of the AC line cord or to the ground screw provided in the installed terminal box, as shown here. To connect the motor to run counterclockwise, see connection diagram 0741072. The side of the AC line connected to the blue motor lead and the ground connections will remain unchanged. Now connect the red wire from the motor and the hot lead from the AC line cord to one lead of the capacitor. Since the wiring diagram does not specify AC line lead polarities, the connection may be made to either side of the AC line, hot or neutral. Connect the black wire from the motor to the other lead of the capacitor. We hope you found our Gear Motor Tips video useful. For additional information on our products or to contact us, please visit bodine-electric.com. Thanks for watching. 